Learning to assess the reasonableness of an answer is an important mathematical skill. It's your child's way of seeing if she's on the right track when problem solving. Sometimes we use rounding to estimate a solution. In third grade, your child will round whole numbers using a vertical number line and round to the nearest 10 or to the nearest 100. Let's round 762 to the nearest 100. Your child knows 762 is made up of seven hundreds, six tens, and two ones. Seven hundreds is 700. So 762 will fall somewhere above 700 on the vertical number line. How many hundreds come after seven hundreds? 500, 600, 700, 800, 800. Next, your child will find the midpoint, or halfway mark. What falls halfway between 700 and 800? This can be tricky, so your child may skip count by 50. 600, 650, 700, 750, 800. 750 is the midpoint. Ask your child, where will you place 762 on this number line? Um, here, just a little above the midpoint. Using a vertical number line is a very helpful model. Your child can clearly see that 762 is closer to 800 than it is to 700, so it rounds up to 800. 762 rounded to the nearest 100 is 800. Or, 762 is approximately equal to 800. Talk with your child about this special case. When a number falls exactly on the midpoint, you round up, like this. 25 is the midpoint, and 25 rounded to the nearest 10 is 30 because you round up. 25 is approximately 30. Using a vertical number line gives your child a visual representation for rounding. With practice, she will always see when to round up and when to round down. And that's good to know.